Liverpool funding the Premier League player for Ipswich Town, how does that sound? Got a great ring to it, mate, got a great ring to it. Right. Sounds good. Nice one. Well, let's talk to you today first. It could have been a nervy one. You made it so easy, didn't you? Oh, yeah, you can say it was easy. I was shitting myself, mate. Uh, no, it was a really good game. I think the boys played really well and, and um, yeah, the crowd was unbelievable. We played well and, yeah, a great day again. Yeah, and a combination for what has been an unbelievable season in your wildest dreams. Could you have seen this one playing out as it did? Oh. No, if I'm being honest, I think all season I've said, nah, it can't happen, it can't happen. It's probably helped us, to be fair. I think the majority of the change room will be the same. We've been sitting there saying, nah, impossible, impossible, but we've just made the impossible happen. So, yeah, unbelievable. So, through just how special this job is that you've done. I mean, this group has gone through so much. haven't been too many changes in the group yet. Here you are, you won promotion from League One last season and now promotion from the Championship this season. Yeah, I think like you said, that's, that's been our strength. I think there's not been a lot of changes and, and the group knows what the boss wants and, you know, I'd, I'd be surprised if there's a team out there that works harder than us in the league on a day-to-day basis and, you know, when you work that hard, you get your rewards and, and that's what we've got today. I've been so focused on the task at hand. Every game is one game at a time. How excited are you now to think, wow, I'm going to play at Anfield, at Old Trafford, at the Etihad? Yeah, one game at a time, and then we'll go one pub at a time, and then we'll think about the Premier League. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Anyone else, guys? No, this, um, sort of, yeah, I mean, you're obviously Ipswich lad, um, and I think we spoke before, didn't we, about you not actually being old enough to remember town being in the Premier League before, so that must have been an enormous amount to take your hometown club to the Premier League. If I'm honest with you, mate, it's not really sunk in yet. I've not, I've, someone was saying to me out there about um, playing Man United at, at, at Portman Road, and I've not even thought about it, mate. It's honestly just really am just living in the moment and, and enjoying every minute of it and, and to be fair the boss is, boss is big on that you know um, when he's talking about nerves before the game he says this is what you get into football for this is what you work anyway yeah the boss is big on that working working hard day in day out and enjoying what you do and you get your rewards for that and yeah, we, we work really hard. And like I said, I've not thought about the Premier League yet, but yeah, we're there. So it's unbelievable. All, all season, we've been sort of talking about the manager and all the players have been saying, we're not, we're not looking at the table. We're not looking at the table. Is that true? Had you had that sort of peak here and there? And sort of thinking? I can honestly tell you, mate, like, I've touched on it just before when, when Alex asked me the question, all season I've been saying it's not possible. It's not possible, but if I'm being honest with you, I've always slightly thought we, we'd do it. Um, Ask any of my mates, they've all been saying, are we going up, are we going up? And I say, yeah, I think we are, I think we are. And to be fair, the boys have been unbelievable, the boss has been unbelievable, the coaches have been unbelievable. And, and we are just one one big group that enjoys what we do every day and and look how far it can take you when you do that. Seems like a nerveless performance today. There didn't seem any, you know, and actually before quite a lot of big games have spoken to players, such a relaxed bunch before games. Yeah, and I think, I think that comes down to to how hard we work and you don't leave things to chance in this group and that probably eliminates a lot of the nerves I mean I don't show a lot of emotion but I can tell you I was nervous before this game and I was nervous before the whole game but when you sit there and you think about the hard work we put in the hours on the training ground you know it really is unbelievable and and we deserve everything that we're getting in a minute. Can I hear Ed Sheeran just FaceTiming you in the dressing room? Yeah, I think um, Dom gave him a little, little serenation and, and he enjoyed it. And yeah, it was good to see him. <laughs> yeah, it was good to see Ed and I, I know he's gutted he can't be here. But um, yeah, he's got, he's got to make money somehow, I guess. <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's going out for a drink with you later in the week or something, is that right? Um, you know more than me, mate. I'm literally just sipping on these Peronis and hoping I stay awake. Can I, um, can I just ask, um, talk about the hard work and the manager talks quite a lot about discipline and uh, can you give an example about how demanding he, he can be on, on your players? I'll, I'll tell you one example, we're in on Tuesday, we just got promoted and we're in on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> That's one example, but yeah, listen, you know, we get body fat tested more than I've ever done in, a, in the entirety of my career. Um, mm. We run more, we work harder in the gym, you know, the re- recovery is, is massive for us and, and as a group it's probably the most professional bunch that I've been around and it's really, really helps and yeah, like I said, when you work that hard it kind of takes away the nerves and you, you're not leaving things to chance because you know, like Huddersfield today, they can turn up and, and play how they want because 
you know, the season is, is what it is and we're out there with massive pressure on us and, you know, you got to kind of sit down and think, we do this every day and, you know, it stands in good stead. Thank you. Last couple, please, guys. Yeah, you describe know. what it was like at full time, you know, obviously the fans flooded on the pitch, just talk <laughs> yeah. us free, what it was like for um, you out there. To be fair, from about the 70th minute, the clock went so slow, it was unbelievable. Um, about the 82nd minute, I see one of my best mates standing by the, by the sides. And yeah, it was blew my mind, mate. It's unbelievable. I'm going to have some more beer before I start crying. <laughs> <laughs> but you've had some real lows at this club, which is a real high. You know, have I? <laughs> Go on, keep pushing them. Yeah. It's such a, such a, you know, you've gone from the kind of periods where managers have kind of said, oh, you're not in our plans to, to being a Premier League player. Extraordinary, really. Yeah, I think, yes, yeah, it's, it's mental, mate. Football football is, is one of them sports where opinions is, if there's someone in charge of you that their opinion of you is, is different to someone else's, then the game can change. And, and I think, to be fair, no matter how hard you work, a lot of it is down to timing and luck. You know, I, another manager could have come in that wasn't Kieran McKenna and, and not enjoyed the way that I played football and then, you know, things go differently. But luckily for me, it, it worked out the way that I wanted it to.